In an interview with Bloomberg, a commissioner with a government agency called gas stoves a hidden hazard. It comes as mounting research links gas stoves to health risks when it comes to breathing issues. While the agency says they are looking for ways to reduce indoor air quality hazards related to gas stoves, which also emit the greenhouse gas methane, they are not looking to ban gas stoves. <coughs> Welcome back, viewer. In recent months, there's been a growing push to ban, of all things, gas stoves due to claims from alarmists about their supposed impact on the environment and public health. We all saw it when AOC tweeted out fear-mongering about gas stoves, apparently forgetting that she has a gas stove, which set off many on the right who called it yet another insane overreach by the extreme left. This led to over-the-top mockery from the media and a now common response that it was all just a right-wing conspiracy theory, which is what they call anything they don't want to talk about and want to go away. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! You have Ron DeSantis, so I'm going to protect your guests. The Everybody signs. gonna be talking about gas stoves, gas. It's so stupid. Whoever's pulling this issue and telling Republicans to obsess over it, Kevin McCarthy, they just need <laughs> to stop. No. Way. As I as I, I said, it makes Trump Republicans look even dumber. Oh my God! And it, it, we you know, the Republican Party has become uh, addicted to this culture of lies and conspiracy theories that they have fomented, right? And this is, the, this is the, the economy of and the culture of conspiracy theories, right? You and I will be able to drive through uh, parts of the country 10 years from now, and people will be saying, do you remember back when Joe Biden was in office and they tried to take away our gas stoves? So why are so many Americans and Republican lawmakers still enthralled with gas? It all started when the government officials said in an interview that gas stoves could face more regulation on health grounds. That provoked a cycle of outrage, mostly from the right. So to most people, stoves are a pretty random household object to suddenly be making news. So there's an opening to mock the left, which is something you see leveraged constantly against shifting ideas about gender or systemic racism. This is riffing. It doesn't really require evidence, just repetition of existing tropes, which researchers say is really crucial to forming belief. You might think that the U.S. government is coming for your gas stove. That is a new and absolutely ridiculous one. Turns out Fox News and Republicans are up in arms because they say the government is coming to take your stoves. What Republicans are saying is, damn it, they're going to take your gas stove. The GOP have been stoking a ridiculous new freakout about gas stoves. No one is taking your gas stove. The right wing freakout over the use of gas stoves is maybe the latest in a long series of made up culture war battles designed to enrage and rile up their right wing and paranoid base. Republicans are prone to conspiracy theories, whether it's, you know, the kooky like JFK Jr. is coming back from the dead to run with Trump or um, the sort of duplicitous like this administration's coming to take away your gas stoves. Survey says! Except it wasn't a conspiracy theory. And as always, it turns out that the media was just giving cover to Democrats to push policies that they knew would create backlash to the party. Have you ever noticed how they always start out denying there's anything there? Like CRT, for example, which they insisted wasn't in schools. But then as soon as Republicans started banning CRT in schools, the very same people lost their minds and insisted that they wanted it in in the schools. First, they claimed banning gas stoves was a right-wing conspiracy theory, and now this. But there is no doubt the science is showing us that those choices are heating up the planet at a sort of a scary rate. This is part of a wave of electrification across the country. New York, the first state, but there's about 90 different municipalities and counties. The first was Berkeley, California a couple years ago. But this is one step closer to uh, a world without fossil fuel pollution, and it's a big one given the size of New York. All right, folks, I have yard work to do, so I'm going to wrap it up there. But if you enjoyed, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one.